Well, the heaps just keep on coming to the San Bernardino Mountain community, still dealing with a massive snowfall. Now more worried about the rain ahead. KCAL News reporter Nicole Comstock is tonight live in Running Springs, where they're preparing for possible flooding there. Nicole. That's right, and the county here is warning people in these mountain communities that they could see up to four inches of rain in the next couple of days the couple of days and so they're telling people that they should definitely go out in advance of this storm and get things like firewood sandbags and food and after the blizzard they saw here a couple of weeks ago people are taking that warning very seriously snow melt is already surging into storm drains here in running springs and racing through Dry Creek. And on the eve of the next rainstorm, San Bernardino County is putting in extra work to move this snow in anticipation of flooding that's expected if rivers, creeks, and streams rise out of their banks. And low lying communities already impacted by the recent blizzard get hit with a wall of water moving downstream. Well, this time we are, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go in and buy a couple more items of food, some milk and things just to get ready. James Johnson is making sure he has enough essentials to weather this storm. He was snowed in for nine days during the blizzard and eventually ran out of food. This time around, he's worried about avalanches and road washouts. Worried about the rain only because of the slides. Uh, our house is pretty safe. It's up on top of hills, so I'm not worried about flooding that much. The county fire department is prepositioning extra engine crews so they can rapidly respond to any flooding emergencies. The county says it's also inspecting 150 high priority culverts and clearing other flood channels to make room for the coming rain. The good news is the roads here are wide open again. The bad news, here's a before and after of a summer camp in town. Our main dining hall building, and it essentially collapsed under the weight of the snow accumulation. Um, and the building is, I mean, it's it's gone. Avi Matanki is the executive director of B'nai Akiva of Los Angeles. This is what's left of the dining hall at the Jewish Retreat Center and summer camp it runs here in Running Springs. In the summertime, it hosts a sleepaway camp for kids finishing third through ninth grades. They want to get it back up and running for those kids as soon as possible. But the uncertainty of this next storm has them scrambling to prevent more damage. With, with the more rain that's coming, you know, there's going to be greater potential for flooding. Um, we've tried as much as possible in our facility to prepare the site for the rain. So we, we brought on extra labor to clear roofs of snow. That summer camp there is a nonprofit, and they say they will need help from the community to repair that damage. Hopefully, they don't see any more with this rain. Reporting live in Running Springs, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL News. All right, Nicole, thank you so much.